Hi folks, uh, right, uh, it's more Byzantines, I don't know why, I've obviously got so many, far too many, I don't know what I've got. Um, while I was setting out the uh, figures the other day for the, uh, the upload, I found another 18, I didn't realise I hadn't based these up, but there you go, I think these have been painted about four years, terrible really isn't it, that after four years of painting they're still in an unbased state. Um, yeah, there they are. A bit, a bit pretty. This is pre-stainer um, or uh, stainer varnish days. So I'm looking at uh, whether I use something like a flesh wash. Might be a bit too browny. Um, I mean, the metal really needs uh, a dark tone on it, and it's going to be fiddly. But I think I'm going to have to do that. I think they're just too, too, uh, too bright, too pretty, boy. But um, I'm going to get these all based up so I can use them. Well, so they're finished. Um, so I'm going to get on with basing. Usual sand and glue, I think, for these. Right, there we go. Usual um, basing style. Uh, sand and glue. Uh, quite a low base on these figures. Uh, so I didn't need to build it up too much. And brown paint. Um, so, yeah, that's the 18-man 18, 18 Capri unit. I've gone for 18 because, uh, well, because of the numbers in bold, and I wanted to have six um, archers in the in the third rank because apparently it's about a third of archers, not half. Um, if it had a normal 12-figure unit, obviously there'd have been six archers and six lancers, but um, I was going for a, a perhaps a more realistic formation, so that's made me 18 figures. Um, right. I'll get dry brushing and flock and come back to show you the uh, the results. Okay, all uh, all dry brushed up now. The basing uh, on these pretty boys here a bit a bit, uh, bit bright. I'm going to have to do something with toning down. So I'm now going to add the uh, flock and tufts. I'll come back to you when they're finished. There we go. All finished. All based up and looking pretty. Um, yeah, well pleased with these, I think, as I think I may have said before, I painted these possibly four or five years ago, and this is the first time I got around to basing them up, um, but then I've only really been basing up the Byzantines this last year or so, so, so it's not that slow. Um, yeah, these were painted before I was using stainer varnishes, and uh, they do look a bit flat, I must say, not much shading on them. I think they were just basic, basic paint jobs. So I'm thinking I'm gonna put a watered down black wash on, possibly. Um, you can see the cloaks at the back there. I think it shows up. Yeah, I need to do something. A lot of silver on them, so I think a black wash rather than a, a flesh wash or a, a, what's the other one? Dark tone or soft tone. And what's the other one? I've got the tones, the mid browns. Yeah, so I think more of the uh, dark tone would be useful. Uh, bright colours though, so I'm going to have to water it down a bit, but that's going to be a job for the, not today. Um, yep, this is the uh, the Clivinari, uh, half armoured. I've done them with uh, metal plates. It could be a chain mail, it could be horn plates. Um, the clothing is, um, the armour is horn plate, that's why it's that really bright green. Again, once it's tempered down, it won't look so bad. And uh, yeah, lots of big flags. I actually don't don't like this too much. <laughs> it says uh, this position because it does get in the way. Um, as you can see, trying to position them, you've got to. I know I've got enormous flags, but I mean you've still got to position them right with this 45 degree angle. Um, it's not uh, it's not my style. Oh, that makes it a bit bent. So I think what I'm going to do when I do the next unit is like what I've done with the standard bear of his shows. I've just cut the arm and bent it up slightly so I can have an upright uh, an upright position. I think that's what I'm going to do with the lancers. It'll mean cutting the arm, which shouldn't be too difficult, and then fold it up um, so I can have an upright lance. It's much, looks better and easier to move around the field. Um, I'm going to need quite a few of these. I think I was planning on four units 
uh, 418s at least the thematic uh, cavalry uh, I'll just check that yeah looking at the list um, I've uh, the cataphract die it was 24 but I've upped that to 32 to make two 16s the uh, cataphract die, uh, glibinophoroi sorry um, for the tagmatic cataphract toy, which these are it's 36 so two 18s I need another 18 of those obviously um, I might add a third unit but I think two two of those but then the heavy cavalry with no armor on at all I will need it says here 48 but I think that'll probably be a 54, which will be three 18s. Um, so quite a lot of cavalry to do. Um, I suppose, um, yeah, I've, I've got a lot of the figures. I'll have to buy some more. Um, and what have we got? I'm now finishing off, which will be a f in the next day or so, we'll be feeling, uh, finishing off the Dracaena, uh, which is the Russian cavalry. And then I've got... Uh, We've got trapeze toy and various other Turks, Pechenegs, Cumans, all those sorts of things. So a lot of light cavalry I need. Um, Acritoy heavy cavalry, yes. I might do those. 24 Acritoy heavy cavalry. And the list has them as heavy cavalry with bow, but we know they had a javelin or a lance as well. So that's probably more your Dracaena cavalry. Your Russian, can't see it here separately. Yeah, so that's it. So. I'm going to put um, a lance on mine, or a, a, a spear mine, so I've got 24 of those, so yeah, some irregulars need to get sorted. There we go, anyway, I'm rambling, um, rambling on, um, yeah, all finished, I'll add these to the list, uh, more things finished, so it was too late for the, uh, the Byzantines that I filmed yesterday, or the other, yeah, it was yesterday, wasn't it? But I'm well pleased with these, how these have turned out. I do think they've turned out pretty good. The shields were all, um, if it shows up, does it? Well, let's get a little bit closer if we can. Yeah, oops, not really showing, is it? A bit too dark. The shields are all um, hand printed, hand printed. Sounds good, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I took them off the internet and then just printed them and made my own shields. Uh, that's what I did there. Right, so all sorted. Bit, and I'll, uh, I'll put some stills on the end but uh, thanks a lot and uh, bye for now